Hi everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to show you this beautiful truck camper. It's a fantastic Total Land Cruiser Parado 120, the same as our Toto. And the, the owners are here just next to me. This is Jose and that's Julia. Julia is from Russia and Jose is from Cuba. Hi guys. Hi, Hi guys. How are you Aldo? Very good. Thank you very much for letting us go around your truck. It's beautiful. I can tell you right away that I find it more aggressive than our Toto. It is a beautiful custom build and we can't wait to show it to you. Jose and Julia have been camping most of their life, as I said, like 25 years, right? Yeah. And they had this long trailer. So they have their experience already in camping and they love it. But then, well, he confided us, he told us that uh, if they now have this Prado, it's a bit like our fault because he saw one of our videos, actually the one where we show our conversion and he said, okay, I'm going to get a Prado, I will put the bed in it and it's very similar, some of the solutions are like our car, so we really can't wait to show it to you. So guys, it's a beautiful late afternoon here in the desert in the Emirates and uh, you were telling me which is the model of your car, the, the correct model. Yeah, our Prado is a 120, it's a 2007 120. Uh, I start to modify the car watching your videos and getting ideas from you. So lots of things that I did in the car is because of you guys. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you so much. It's extremely yeah. beautiful. I find it much more aggressive than our <laughs> car. So if you look at this yeah. bull bar, that's, that's something, isn't it? So you were saying it's a V6, right? Gasoline. It's a, yeah, it's a 4.4, 4.0 liters uh, gasoline, petrol. Yeah. Can we see the engine? Yes, please. Let's yeah. show you the engine. Yeah. That's super clean. What have you got in here? I see that you have two batteries, right? Yeah, yeah. This is, I mean, the, the primary battery of the car, and that's a marine battery. It's a gel battery, a GM battery, which uh, it power mainly our fridge and a few little accessories there inside. It's the, the leisure car. battery, right? So for yeah. the accessories, yes, that's the right. chargers. So they charge both together as, at the same time when the car is running, and then. Most of the time we're using when we're parking, just the auxiliary battery, uh, where the, the main battery stay with the, the original power. We have to move a few things around to, to fit the snorkel of the car. That's the snorkel here, the Safari model. Yeah. Get there. The air filter that I got is actually the KLM. KLM, KLM K filter. KLM, yeah, filter, which is, according to many, it's, it's a little bit better, a filter for this, uh, the gasoline cars. Look at this light, guys. They are fantastic. So you were telling me also here that's uh, uh, this is model that they do here in the yeah. Middle East with an extra yeah. fan for yeah, exactly. the AC, yeah. right? Yeah, that's a heavy duty a cooling system that this car will have. It has an additional uh, fan there and also a, an additional um, a cooling radiator for the transmission. So the car, the car came like that because it's built here for the hot weather of the UAE. This is the radiator for cooling the transmission. the transmission. This is something I had to install on my car, but here for the Emirates model and for the Middle East, it already comes with this fitted on it. And you also said you have a kit for the breeders, A yeah, or B. So we, we just put the, the breeder of the transmission here on top of the car. See, you have here the LED bars. That's the front LED bar, two sides, that's for the fog light, fog yellow, right? Yeah. What's the total voltage for these lights? These ones, I believe they are 60, 60 watts. This should be 90 watts. I think it's about 90 watts. The skip plates are from ARB and they cover all the engine and the part of the transmission also there in the, in the bottom. Yeah. So Pepe, have you got a lift kit also on your car? Yeah, I got the lift kit from Old Town Nemo, yeah. which is also ARB road. Uh, the lift of the car is like a two inches. Uh, lead and uh, so far has been working perfectly. I mean, I really, I really enjoy the very good. And I also see you run the BF Goodrich, the KO2, right? Yeah, the KO2 because I have been following Aldo in almost all, the, all his videos. I was looking for Cooper tires to put Cooper tires in my car, but here in the Emirates they don't sell the, the Cooper tires. So the, the best one that I could afford or, or, or get here was the BF. Goodrich. BF Goodrich was our other alternative, our other choice, but we went with Cooper and actually are very happy right now, so we haven't tested them, but uh, for what I can see, it's still a good, uh, you know, quality tire, and here in the dunes, we both didn't have any problems cruising in the sand, so that's good. It will be like a cubicle that we use as a shower or changing room to change our clothes, to, to do our necessities, actually we have like a little party party that we put inside, 
and uh, we're using that when we are on the outdoors. So basically this shower will come out, go yeah. down, yeah. and you also have a porta potty, a small toilet, yeah. and a, right. a foot pump shower, right? Yeah, a foot pump shower, yeah, that we use it and we save also on water. Those are the side steps, really beautiful and well made. Jose designed and built them. This is these mud guards. Simple, effective, minimalist. But again, staying with the black style, the matte color. In here, Pepe has a system with the, the cups that they are connected with the Bluetooth and they uh, show on the dash the uh, pressure, the tire pressure, because you were telling me that's important, why? Especially when you uh, go off-road, you will see if the, any of the tires go flat or start to losing air, you will see on the, your dashboard and uh, you can stop and maybe fix the tire before the tire uh, is gone. You got uh, a Garmin GPS, I see the antenna up mm -hmm. there. And how do you find it? Is it good? Is it helpful? It's, uh, yeah, it's very helpful, especially when you go off-road because you have all the maps for doing off-road. And you got a roof rack. Which model is that? That's the ARB roof rack, which uh, I purchased just to put the rooftop tent on top and different accessories and they are very, very easy to, to put it there. Yeah. Now the roof tent is not here because we only went out for a night. So uh, they actually have the option if they want to sleep either in the roof tent or inside. I'm going to show you that in a minute. So on the other side here, we got uh, the awning, right? Yeah, the awning for the, yeah, for the car. It's just a, a normal awning, but uh, it's also with the room which goes all around the, the awning and create a room here in the in the middle. That's the inside here. Very well equipped, nice and neat. I see you got here this foldable yeah, table, right? This foldable table is for KOM and this is an Australian brand. Also the this uh, rack here on top is uh, the same the, for the same brand. The ARB uh, drawer system and also for the Prado. Uh, we, we, we install that and we create a flat bed here to put the mattress and sleep in the, in the interior of the car. The fridge. And then so of we, course you have all the tables and chairs, yeah, so the ropes chairs, and recovery, yeah, all the course, equipment. recovery gear. The tow bar the tow there, bar yeah. Bar in the back. Simple but efficient. Mm. And what about cooking? For cooking, what do you have? Uh, cooking, I, I have a couple of Coleman stove, one a double, a double burner stove and a single burner stove, which we found and they are amazing. I mean, they are really good to cook and to prepare meals on, on them there. And I got the, the <laughs> oven because of you guys. Yes, yeah, we use the oven a lot, yeah. We like our little oven, you know, for the bread and so on. Yeah, that's, uh, that's quite a nice gadget. Here we got this support, all the hooks, various plugs. How many liters is the fridge? It's 35 liters. Yeah. 35 liters of fridge, uh, which for two persons is more than enough. Quite spacious, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. This is the mattress. It rolls over and opens and they can also sleep inside. So these are the drawers. Uh, we put here, uh, I mean, all our camping gear, food. Uh, uh, now it's a little bit messy because we just pack up to, to go home. And, uh, but usually we will put even, even clothes here on a longer trips. This one it slides out. You can slide out this one. I see. And uh, yeah, we want to open the... the wind has picked up. Guys, the wind is picking up. And we're back. It's still very hot, but there is less wind. So let's continue with the tour. Hello, Jose. Hello, Aldo. How are you doing? Very good, very good. Welcome back. It's good that we can continue the tour and finish it. I see that you rolled out the bed here. Yes. So what's the length of the, the full length around, of the bed? Yeah, 198, two meters by 140, I believe. And uh, it's an air mattress, uh, which uh, I found the mattress very comfortable for sleeping at night. Um, and that's what we're using for now. Um, yes. 
it's very good it's similar to our solution uh, our bed it's a little bit thicker but uh, you know you also have the option to sleep in the roof tent so yeah. that's obviously it's a good alternative here and uh, yeah these were the drawers we were showing at the end of the previous part of the video and yeah. uh, so you were telling me that both slides and this one has got the platform can you show it to us yeah uh, this sliding doors are from also arb yeah i i got most of the stuff from arb here and uh, they are very comfortable doors very solid um, they have locks oh, i can also, see you said yeah. you use and also the sliding yeah. like a sliding table here to to do something here on top of, it, of this uh, which uh, also you can put the fridge here and slide the fridge out yes. if you want in the future um, and i can see they're pretty tough you oh got yeah the... they are very solid they are they are solid doors and uh, sliding door and then you have as a, it's custom made these uh, additions here ah, okay. you can put more stuff there uh, this is a uh, custom made for the prado 120 from airb and uh, i found that it's very very comfortable there and very you try solid. to maximize all the space, the space basically the car, yeah. Yeah. very um, good yeah. So let's go on that side because I've seen. I uh, know that's the that was the we didn't open last time. The yeah. table here on the side door. Yeah, that's, this table is from KA Allen, also an Australian Australian brand. Uh, I got it a while ago, which uh, we use this also for uh, to put the small stuff there. Our morning coffee. We don't put too much weight here on this table. But still uh, very practical and it's very yeah, neat, so yeah. useful. And I also like this uh, also, yeah. holder there in metal, yeah? yeah? The, the metal holder. And also the, this rack here, that is from the same brand. We got this at the same time. I see you got some lights here, right? Yeah, those are some LED lighting. That for the night, it helps a little bit, when we, especially when you are in the middle of the nowhere. And it's very dark, so just to, to work, to cook, to do anything so those lights have low consumption led lights and they work well also something very interesting it's uh, the, your water solution storage which you said you're gonna put it behind the seats the can seat. you show me please what yeah. you're doing with that um, yes i do have uh, two canisters uh, so far right now and that uh, 20 liter each and i can slide it here for now and that's give me a total of 40 liters of water i have a foot pump which I use it for a shower. This is our our shower here. Very good. Then I yeah. see that here you have the compressor. This is the which this is also, you love ARB, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's a brand that you find it uh, like competitive. I just found that ARB they have uh, the stuff that they do is is very competitive. It's a, it's a very reliable, and uh, I went with them. It's not cheap. Yeah. But it's. Uh, it's also like you, it's you something can trust. You, you buy only once, yes. You can trust, you can trust. That's, uh, a, that's a single piston, right? Yeah, single yes, piston, single piston, yeah. yeah. A single yeah. piston, yeah. ARB half a bigger one, uh, but for me it was a little bit too big. Yes. To install the, the bigger one here. So I, I was looking to maximize the space of the car as much as I could. Also, guys, you must know that uh, Pepe will soon retire and is planning a round the world expedition. So now the seats that you see there folded, the back one, the rear one, they will be removed. I want to remove these both seats, the middle road seats, and then there will be a space for me to storage uh, different stuff. And you know, the space here in the middle of the car is, is very, very important yes. because you distribute the weight uh, evenly. The fridge will be on the other side. I have to do a few modifications for the fridge to to open the fridge, to close the fridge while we are camping. So guys, look at these details. You know, this, for example, uh, Jose was telling me that they are uh, custom painted as well as the red calibers, still Toyota, as well as this one, the side steps, very beautiful. They are Toyota. They are from the FJ Cruiser. So he had them adapted and repainted. Pepe, a lot yes. of attention to details. Thank I really like your color and uh, the style you're giving to your brother. It's really thank beautiful. Thank you, thank you, Aldo. Yeah. What about the autonomy of your car? You told the, me that you have another tank, right? Yeah, uh, this Prado, it came with a double tank. So in total, it's 180 liter of uh, uh, petrol, of fuel. So the autonomy of the car is between 1,500 kilometers to 2,000 kilometers, depending on your driving manners, how fast you go or you are driving off-road or on-road. 
very good can we see it inside please and maybe yeah. turn on the engine yeah. so guys it's pristine super clean look at this look at that even the paper cover on top of the floor mats that's the fire extinguisher you were telling me that there is a fridge actually inside here yeah yeah uh, this prado is come with a fridge here inside as you can see, and now I have it with it. some stuff. But yes, yes. Here you have the, it's a cool box, so you can power up. Yes. And actually you can cool there like a four or five a butter of water. Yeah. And they keep it very cold while you are driving. The low gears here, that's automatic. It also has this additional storage, holders, yeah. storage, yes, solution. Yeah. So you thought of everything. <laughs> very good. Jose, also you were telling me that you do not have a winch, right? Yeah, I no, I don't. I I decide to don't put a winch in the in the front of the car, just because as, uh, as many reviews I have been seeing, a lot of people say that the winch is uh, add extra weight to the front of the car, uh, plus not much use uh, of the winch unless you are doing the hard hard off roading or, or you go into very remote places with the. So I decide not to put it. And instead, I have a, a Max Trax, which hopefully will help me out to get out of a, a places when I'm going off-roading and I get stuck. And guys, I can confirm you this because it's uh, seven years. We are in the seventh year of traveling and we only used our winch twice. And it was to help other people getting out of the sand. We do also have some recovery boards. And we think that probably is the best uh, solution to get out when you are stuck, other than putting this extra weight, because don't forget, you also have to have a support for the winch yeah. or a heavy bumper. So very good. I agree on that choice. So Jose, thank you so much for showing us your car. It's really beautiful. We really enjoyed it. And we do wish you that very soon you will start your trip around the world. Thank you so much, Aldo and Viera. Uh, it has been a pleasure. and. Uh... Hopefully we will start very soon and enjoy the same way like you are enjoying your tour Thank around you. the world. And you never know, maybe we'll meet somewhere else at some point. Definitely, I hope so. <laughs> Guys, I hope you like the tour of Toti, Jose's truck camper. And if you want to make a comparison between this Prado and our Prado, I'm going to link you the video up here. We also will have to do in the future a seven year update of our car. So if you like this video, you know what to do. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you next time.